You hear that? It's puny, right? For now, I love the horn of the R90. It sounds like this. So, it's loud. And it has a sweet tone to it. So, that's the kind of uh, horn that I expect from a big bike. From a European bike. So, how do you solve that? Well, don't use the horn. Buy Cermi. Buy a nice aftermarket exhaust. But I don't have that yet. So, mm, I'll just make do with the horn. So, if you want to change the horn, the best uh, ones, or the loud ones, that have a good tone to it and have good quality, is um, you, you can go with the Denali. Um, horns but those ones need a relay so you're gonna have two horn pieces there and it you need to install its uh, relay which is uh, sold separately and mounted in the bike so it's a pretty tedious job uh, however I found this online and these is these are PIAA some type horns for motorcycles um, the model number is supposed to be here there that's the part number and I've seen some installation videos on uh, on YouTube, and it's quite easy. You just it's just one piece. You just mount it there, and no need for relays. It's just a direct swap, uh, a direct swap of the of this horn here. So there are two. There you have your bracket here, and your two connecting pieces here that are coming from the bike and that's the only thing that uh, links this bike with the horn with the bike so let's do an installation video okay here's an unboxing of what you get from this package so I bought this from Amazon you can also do it on eBay and I had it shipped to our US address and when my relatives came from the US uh, they bought they brought this with them and this is the first time I'm actually opening this and I'm doing it with one hand because I have my phone on my right hand and uh, wait, how do you do this with one hand mm, well, quite easy there's this one here you take that out and be like a monkey and use the foot as a hand um, this one yeah, all right you can go from the front so this is the main piece here oh that makes it easy there's a bracket and see those two pieces it's perfectly the same as what you have there so I'm not sure how it looks on other big bikes or on other bikes but this looks like a perfect fit and I'm also going to use the bracket I'm going to replace that one I'm going to use this bracket and what else do we have in there you have your instructions manual which tells you things do I need to read it? Mm, I don't think so. And some more wires. Maybe if you want to mount two horns, you can do it. I think that's how it works because I've seen some other setups that have dual horns. I got the single one. And, uh, and the good thing about this is it says it's slim. So yes, it is. And it's going to look like this so if you get sprays below should be all right because the inlet outlet is here and this is how it looks I'm going to install it now and I have removed the original horn um, just a comparison on how slim it is from the original if you want to see here's my monkey feet hands again so it's a it's a bit thicker but that's not an issue if you want a size comparison it's like that so no biggie there however I cannot use this bracket I need to use this bracket well this one's removable because this one is the uh, the one that would hold the screw in place here and it's as simple as taking the snaps of these um, you just pull it out from from the socket 
and the reason why I can't use this bracket is because it's too short uh, if you see and if you use that one you can see the this pieces here yeah you won't be able to put the the wires in here because it's too short you don't have enough clearance so you need to go that low and to do that I'm going to take out this screw here and replace I'm gonna replace this one with this one so I'm gonna do a swap so I'm gonna do that now uh, sorry I can't show you how I do it because I just have one hand okay so I was supposed to remove this but then I saw this tampering with it will damage so I can't take out this one I'm not sure why and it's hard to do so because while I was doing so when you turn this the whole body this one would rotate because so, so it's like this is just snap on to this cover here so if you turn this it's going to rotate the whole thing and it's also in the instructions manual that you do not remove this and this why I don't know so I'd rather, rather not I'll just use this bracket so I'll just mount it going like this sideways so that I would be able to access these and put them ah, on those two things so I'll install it now and I've completed the installation so it's there now it's mounted a bit sideways but it's okay here's this here's how it sounds so let's turn on the battery and this is how it sounds yeah it's loud it's like an air horn but it sounds like boop boop yeah it's nice it's loud it's like you're selling puto or, or or I don't know what what's called rice cakes I don't know the the guy with a horn that you squeeze like, boop, 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 boop. that's how it sounds like but it's louder so I prefer it over the original and let's see how it performs on a, on a ride when it, things heat heat up and debris start hitting the horn so it's an easy mount anyway got this for 50 bucks by the way 50 US dollars uh, um, I'll keep you you'll hear, hear about this uh, on my next ride